Hello and welcome to this week's Oracle Card Guidance. So I'm back with you and I'm uh, feeling a lot better. Thank you all for your well wishes and your blessings during this time. I really appreciate it. I want to say that I am considering whether I will continue with the weekly Oracle Card Guidance, whether I'm wondering whether I should just do it twice a month perhaps or um, once a month. Let me know what you need, what you uh, like, whether you prefer to keep it on a weekly basis or whether one a month would be adequate um, or whether you know twice a month would really be something that would fit better for those of you who come to these readings quite regularly. So this week we're using the Soulful Woman guidance cards here and we have three options. We have Mergum and then we have Palo Santo and we have some frankincense. Go ahead um, make a selection from your three and I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who have chosen the first option here, that is the Mergum, uh, we are asking, what is your weekly Oracle card guidance? What is your weekly Oracle card guidance? What is it that you've come here to hear? What is the message that you need to hear at this moment? And the card we have here is the number 28. It's called Power of My Voice. And the caption reads, I speak my truth and express my feelings to others with care and compassion. So I feel now more than ever there's a need for uh, understanding. There's a need to be able to communicate one's message in a non-violent fashion. There's a need to be able to communicate one's message with compassion and with empathy for um one, the other point of view. So in order to bridge that gap, one needs to be able to have conversation or communication which is calm and peaceful and generous so that you are able to speak your truth and have the other be able to speak their truth as well. So if you are in a situation where what you are saying is going to be intimidating another or causing pain to another or where you're expressing your anger in a way that uh, is justified but nevertheless causes harm to the relationship, then it's not actually going to be helping you either. So I feel here that this card is talking about being very clear and being very open with what you have to say and just being not necessarily blunt, but being very honest and sincere about what it is that you need to say. So where is it that you've been treated unfairly? Where is it that there is a, a need for justice? And where is it that you need to speak your truth and where you need to say something and you need to be able to speak out loud and clear? And I want to say here that this does not need the other to listen carefully. This does not need the understanding of another. What is important here is that you are able to speak your truth and that you are able to articulate what it is that you need to be able to say out there. Because to a large extent, you are saying it to yourself. So when you are speaking your truth, when you're speaking what's coming out of you, what you're really doing is you heeding the messages that have been within you, that perhaps have been causing turmoil within you. In order for one's own voice to be heard, one needs to be able to acknowledge that there is something here that is needing to be spoken. And beyond that, one needs to also understand that in order for one to be able to express oneself, one, one needs to be able to give oneself that time to be able to heal what it is that's broken, what it is that has been shattered, what it is that needs to be reckoned with. And that is the only way that one can go forth in terms of being able to, uh, to express what one desires, what one needs. So this card is very aptly named the power of my voice because what it's actually talking about is is holding this power, but being responsible for this power. The power of one's voice is very strong and it quite can be quite irrational. It can also be quite volatile. One needs to be able to recognize the power that one has when one is expressing one's voice, when one is talking, when one has the power to speak what speak one's truth, so to say. So it talks to you about speaking one's truth and being able to express one's feelings to others, but with care and compassion. And 
I think that this is so important because when you're expressing yourself with care and compassion to another, then you are actually taking care of yourself in that moment. You are having that, you do have that care and compassion for yourself. You are able to express yourself, not just with anger and with, uh, ups- with whatever upset that you have, but rather also with a degree of compassion where you're able to understand and and have compassion not just for your own suffering but also for whatever the other person has done and and being able to be generous enough to be able to understand the uh, the opposition's or the other per- party's um feelings in a matter what this card is showing me is that there is a lot of um of of goodness and a lot of peace and there's a good intention here but what i'm also seeing is that there's a lot of uh, fire around this and there's an inability to be able to really express oneself with that care with that compassion and so i feel like during this week that is uh, or th- this time whenever you've come here to actually listen to this video that at this time in your life this is what you need to be thinking about this is what your question is about is about how am I going to go about expressing myself and how am I going to be able to be honest with myself and truly express everything that I feel, you know, let it all out there and not hold anything for myself, but at the same time be able to do so with balance and not with anger and not with vitriol and not with hatred, but actually with with compassion and with love not because you want to attack the other person because of the pain that they've caused you, but rather because you want to be able to create that peace. You want to be able to create that divine space where you could both meet each other, where you could build a bridge uh, with each other. And this may be um, your feelings towards another person. It might be uh, feelings towards a family member, a loved one. It could be towards um, an institution. It could be towards a whole race of people. It could be towards anyone for that matter. But here, the power of one's voice is, is coming forth to tell you that the power of your voice is already there. It's about how you manage it. Is it a bridled force or is it unbridled and causing chaos and havoc? I feel here in this card or those people have come to this reading that what you actually need to take care of at this moment is um, not just your heart chakra, but also your throat chakra. So I feel like the throat, the, the heart chakra is strong and beating really well and really in balance. And but but the the throat chakra is actually weak. It's almost like whereas there is this power of your voice and being able to speak out, it's as if you don't have the words. It's it's as if it's hard for you to be able to express yourself. It's as if you don't have the power actually to be able to express yourself. So I feel like that's something that you can work on as you go along now to be able to uh, perhaps do a meditation or some kind of healing for your throat chakra to be able to support your, sh- your throat chakra, perhaps wear um, a stones um, or some kind of... Um, bluish color around your your neck i feel stones such as sodalite might actually work for you really well right now um sodalite comes to mind blue lace agate any of the blue stones are really but uh sodalite really resonates with this with this card right now and if it's in resonance with any of you and you have the the stones available then perhaps use that to work with with balancing your your throat chakra i feel like what needs to happen here is to bring some of the the force that you have in the solar plexus and the heart chakra area to balance the throat chakra area and one of the ways in which you might be able to do this without actually uh, speaking is by by writing it's um by putting your thoughts into into words by being able to express yourself in some kind of way by singing by creating music by doing something where you are expressing yourself but you're not necessarily um using your voice as such and you might find that your throat chakra or that region or your voice is improved your strength in your in your voice is improved while you use other methods of being able to express yourself i think that expression is really important right now because that is the power that we're talking about we're talking about having the space to be able to express oneself and giving oneself that space and 
not imagining that you don't have that space, but rather just creating that space for yourself. And so I think that is the most important messages here for this card for this week. And let me know if it resonates. Let me know if this has helped you. I feel like this is something that um, that this angst that you may be experiencing if you are, or if if you feel like there's something that you need to say, but you aren't able to say it, it can easily be a healing experience for you and it can easily be a very creative experience for you so take a look at where you think you can actually um, create this healing in your life and how it is that you could do that and how it is that you can bring more creativity in your life through a healing yourself and bring it, be, being able to bring balance in this way so i would say as you go along uh, take care of that and um, don't be afraid to be able to express your true feelings don't be um, intimidated by uh, other voices out there or greater voices out there. Be true to who you are and speak your truth. And that's the only way that you're going to be able to to put across what you are and who you are. And don't be bullied into being a certain way because you feel like you don't have a choice but to go uh, in a certain direction. All right. So um, keep that in mind as you go along in the week ahead and much strength to you as you you go ahead. Many blessings to you all. So for those of you who've chosen the second option here, the Palo Santo, we're asking, what is it that you need to know? And what is it that you've come here to hear today? Wow, this card flew out and I want to go with that, okay? So the card has uh, got the number 33 and it's card call, called Inner Wakefulness. It says, I'm completely awake and tuned in to my truth, clarity and inner wisdom. So yeah, I want to say that, you know, often when one is um, accessing one's inner wakefulness, when one is in touch with one's truth, one's clarity and inner wisdom, it's often a painful experience. It's often a situation where one is completely in touch with one's pain, one's grief, one's one's pain, one's difficulties in one's life in order to be able to search for that truth and for that clarity and for that wisdom to come forth. And, you know, sometimes you might just be in that space where you are ex accessing the pain or you, you are, you know, in confusion, you are feeling aggrieved or you are you know, feeling disillusioned in some way, and you haven't actually gotten to that point where you are experiencing that inner wakefulness. And I want to say that, you know, just keep on that path, and then you will be able to get to that point where you are experiencing that inner wakefulness. And what is that inner wakefulness? Well, I think here, it's about being able to understand uh, through your raw emotion, through your raw experience, where is it that you are in your life? You know, what is the sum total of your experiences and where has it led you to? What is it saying to you? And here, are you actually just ignoring it? Or are you pushing it down? Or are you pretending it hasn't happened? Or are you just being brave? Or are you just trying to ignore it and, and create a better reality for yourself? And what this card is saying is that you're not going to be able to do that unless you actually look at yourself and look at where you've come from and what are the sum total of your experiences. Because the sum total of your experiences is the key to where you're headed to next. It's the key to open the door through which you need to walk through next. And so where is it that you need to be able to really look at that and really be able to acknowledge that and look that in the eye, no matter how painful it is, no matter how uncomfortable it might be. So I feel here for some of you who are experiencing this right now and you are feeling woke um, in the sense that you, you're feeling awake, you're feeling... Um, um, as if you've actually come to a place in yourself where you understand yourself better, you understand what your needs are, you understand what experiences you've had in the past and how they've come to bear for you and how they've informed who you are right now. I feel for those of you who are in that in that space, that you are actually feeling a fair deal of strength and you're feeling as if you've... Um, 
you've come to a point where you can actually be who you are and you don't need to actually express any of this. You can be silent and knowing who you are. You don't need to shout it out from rooftops. You can actually simply quietly, confidently be who you are. And that's enough for you. I think here, um, the step forward or where you're headed to now is to be able to reconcile that with what ideas you have about divinity and I, what ideas you have about existence and where is it that you can bring yourself full circle here with regard to your own feelings and experiences right now. So I think that for some of you, you may be having some existential questions right now as you go along and as you um, you you create more for yourself. On the whole, what I'm seeing here is somebody who's got a fair deal of strength, somebody who's been um, kind of pushing through and going through many things, you know, just being able to take one thing at a time. And and where you find yourself is in a deep um, amount, of, like you've, like it's like you've, you're on a heap of strength, and it's like you've collected these experiences, um, and it's it is really what informs you right now. And it feels like there's a lot of vibrance here. It feels like there's a great deal of vitality here, and it feels that there's a, there's a sense of an individualistic um, kind of. Um, experience that you're having where uh, what I mean by that is that you're having a very unique personal experience here and it's up to you to be able to give that the space to um, blossom and to unravel itself because you don't need to actually um, understand your experience along with everyone else's experience you don't need to be part of the 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 crowd when it comes to this this is something that you are experiencing just for you and it's something that you know where it is that you've come for, from and what trials you've been through and where it is that you've headed that you're heading and i feel like you know you've come here to hear the the oracle guidance and there's not much here that i can say to you aside from just be yourself right now because you have gathered all the strength and allow your inner voice to be able to guide you in this moment allow yourself to be led by your nose so to say you know sniff out your next experience and see where it is that it leads you for many of you where you are right now is where others are trying to get to you know to be able to be completely awake and tuned into one's truth clarity and inner wisdom when you are tuned in to yourself then you know how to take care of yourself. Then you are looking after your body. You are looking after your mind. You are taking care of your emotional well-being. And you are maintaining a good connection with the spirit or with yourself in, in, in a higher uh, consciousness level. And you actually have everything in balance. You wake up each morning and you know that you have peace within you. And you know that you have balance. And you can move along with all of these things that are there to support you. And I feel that this card is telling you that you are ready to have that and you are at that point where you actually have that already. So if you are one of those people who is still struggling to be able to get to that point, to be able to create that balance, which most people are, most people are struggling to be able to create that balance in their lives, then take heed from here and work towards that, work towards creating balance in your life in whichever way it may be. And the one way in which most people or a lot of people don't have that balance is in terms of their physical well-being. You know, many people ignore their physical well-being or they, they put too much of emphasis on their physical well-being. So are you overworking? Are you working out too much? Or are you working out too little? Or are you perhaps not doing any exercises at all? So this is where I feel like if you have that physical balance, everything else comes from there. Because if you're eating well, and if you're looking after your diet, then your emotional and mental well-being will also come from there. And so if you are doing the an adequate amount of movement um, or exercise in your life, then you're going to be able to um, understand the benefits of coming into balance naturally because it just aligns itself. So it's like you get one row of the physical into balance and then everything else flows from there. And if you are struggling a little bit with it, I would suggest that you look at your 
your diet and look at how much of movement you have in your life and where is it that you can bring a little bit more in one direction or or another or if you have been doing too much perhaps it's time to just give it a break or kick back a little bit and allow your body to recover from what it is that you have been busy with you know there's a gentleness that surrounds this card there's a femininity that is part of this experience and i feel like one need not be afraid of being able to explore that further and to be able to understand that softness and one need not see that as a weakness or or um see that as something that can be easily crushed i think it's important to explore that and if you have the inclination to do so then go ahead and do that and see where it is that you can be dainty as it were or um just softer or where um this is a lightness a lightness can be in you that is you know that others may see as something that can be easily crushed but that you can nurture in yourself um with a little bit of tenderness and a little bit of care so I think that was your message for today. I want to encourage you to go along as you are and completely allow yourself to be led by your own guidance in this uh, situation. I wish you all well um, on your path and many blessings to you. So for those of you who have chosen the third option here, we're asking what is our weekly oracle guidance or what is our guidance that we've come here to hear today? What is the message that we need to hear right now? So we have the number 25 and the card is called appreciation and the caption reads appreciating the good that exists in my here and now expands my awareness to all that is good in the universe. So there's not much more I can say about this card ex uh, but aside from what it reads and it talks about being um, appreciative of being, being in gratitude for what you have and how that brings um, huge blessings and it just brings one into a, a sense of balance or sense of of good um, vibrations as you think about all the things that you're grateful for as you appreciate all that you have so take a look around you and you know, make a list of like 20 things that you actually feel grateful for. You know, if you can hear this message, you can be grateful for your ears and for the, the processes that take place in the brain to be able to process this information. If you are living and breathing right now, then you can be grateful for that. If you are clothed right now, you can be grateful for that. If you have food in your fridge right now, you can be grateful for that. You can be grateful for the fact that your home is not being bombed right now. And there's so many things. And I know it sounds really trite, you know, this message, oh, be grateful, you know, make a gratitude list. And I think that like, very often, you know, that it gets swept under the carpet because one is, one finds this message so dull in a way and one finds this message um, so unnecessary, like at every corner, somebody is telling you to be grateful for something. But I think it really radiates. It really um, actually comes to us. You know, it's something that we can't really escape because that is where the answer is. The answer is almost um, always with gratitude because the moment we start feeling gratitude we shift our vibration and we're already on a different path and so if you are feeling like you are struggling right now if you are feeling like things aren't working out the way you want it to then just be grateful and if you catch yourself feeling ungrateful for something just try to recognize it and acknowledge it uh, for what it is and then you know continue on your path of gratitude it's almost like doing a chant it's almost like chanting all day long like um, the monks do um in some uh, eastern religions and basically you know recognizing what one is grateful for it's almost like prayer in a way like you constantly being thankful it's a devotion but what is a devotion to it's a devotion to your own existence actually so I want to say here that uh, if you are embracing an attitude of gratitude, then what you're going to find is that you become softer and that you become more loving and that you become um, more able to understand life and to take life in 
You know, if you have sharp edges and you have very uh, you have very strong opinions or you have a very, um, you know, angst ridden approach to, to life. Uh, and it's like going through life with like very sharp edges. And then, you know, you can't really uh, take in what's coming your way. So if there's these huge boulders coming your way, your sharp ends are going to break off. Whereas if you are just a rolling stone and you move along, and I don't mean that in, in the traditional sense of being a ro ro rolling stone. But if you just, you know, if you round it and you are able to move through things, then you're going to find that like water, you'll be able to get through life and you'll be su a survivor at the end of it. So I want to say here that, you know, when they talk about this appreciation, what it's actually talking about is being able to come into a space where you are uh, uh, taking life a little bit easier, where you actually are not being so hard on yourself, where you are allowing yourself to be able to appreciate a little bit more, because what it's actually going to do is soften you around the edges. So when, you know, you have a, a huge boulder coming your way, it or a huge obstacle coming your way, it's not going to crush Another aspect of this card is, is telling me that you've actually come quite a long way already and that you are, you know, you've almost, you've gained lots of honors along the way. So you've come quite far and you can actually rest assured that you are on the right path here. And, you know, as long as you keep your vibration pure and happy and in gratitude, that you will, in fact, be fine. It's like an affirmation that things are going well in your life and that it's okay to be in the state that you are right now. If you do have obstacles coming your way, recognize that these obstacles are something that will prove to be quite profitable in the future. So if you have a situation where you are feeling quite weighed down, quite taxed, uh, quite repulsed by something that's going on in your life right now, recognize that this is something that is going to change as you go along and that as the months um, change, as the, the weather changes, you're going to find that it's going to reveal uh, opportunities um, from from it. So what you would have thought were obstacles and what you would have thought was the end of a road is actually going to open up into something that's far more interesting. And there's going to be more than one opportunity um, that's going to be there. So I feel like there's going to be like three opportunities there. And I feel that like it almost mirrors the fact that you've come so far and that you've done a certain amount of work with yourself where you've just been able to recognize yourself in a particular light and you've been able to let go of certain things and this has helped you to become a more rounder individual and it's helped you to become more at peace with yourself and just uh, it allows you to just enjoy life a little bit more. So your message for this week would be or this time whenever you come here to listen to this is that it's okay to be happy <laughs> it's okay to go along and experience that joy for all that you have in your life and it's okay to to take things that are coming your way um, with ease and with grace and just allow it to move through you and past you and that you know it's I think that you have something to look forward to as you go along in the months to come. All right, so wishing you all very well as you go along. Many, many blessings to you all. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy, stay well. And uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.